we going to get it? What is going on, team? It is your friendly neighborhood. Uh, I was going to say gunslinging, but I'm not thinking gun. Whistling and deals at your local Goodwill. As always, I'm going to show you guys how a family of seven uh, was able to make $50,000 turning trash into treasure using this good store. So if you guys have any questions, I'm just going to show you the, the rundown and how you can actually start with stuff that's in your house because that's where this, all this stuff is stuff that's in people's house. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, guys, so if you've ever seen my channel, you already know there's pretty much four things in your home that you have right now that you could put up on eBay to make money. And look at this. We just got here, and we're already finding. One of those things is shoes. We got toys, and there's two other things that you should always check in your closets that will make you serious cash. And I mean, like, three to $500 in the next four weeks on eBay. All you got to do is take a picture of it and put it in the mail. So let's start with uh, the shoe department. And my kids are already going to work. What'd you find? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now, it's not like everything in your house is gonna be able to like sell on eBay, but that's not the goal, right? If you're watching this channel, you don't necessarily want to just throw everything up. Ooh, that's my son. He's coming with some winners. What are those, Kaka? What'd you say? Oh my goodness, dude, these are some nice shoes. Look at those, those are pretty clean. What are those inside? These are New Balance too. These are Absorbs, those are awesome. Kaya, how old are you? How much money do you make so far doing this? $95, not bad. So what I normally tell people is listen, take everything, uh, if you're in the store, you wanna just start grabbing stuff and looking it up, probably throw it in your cart first because you don't want somebody else to grab it and I've had that happen a lot. Um, just grab it, throw it in your cart, look it up later. But shoes is huge. Nikes, Jordans, all those big boys. So let's go ahead and check. Charity, cue the music. Okay, DC, look at that. Oh, these are kind of kid shoes, how much? $6.99? We'll check him out. Got some Pumas. Those are really nice, ooh, are these real? These might be real. $2.99, dude, ooh, that's a steal. Let's see what we got. Jumbo. Oh, I know that. These are foot joys. Here we go. Boom, these are golfing shoes. Always check the bottom of these to make sure that the little pegs are intact. If they're not, put them back. Like those are broken. I think you can replace them, but we'll look them up, see how much they work. Just in case you guys got those in your house somewhere. All right, so we've hit our first lot, and as you can see, we've got tons of shoes, and we've only been in the store for like three minutes. So the next place that we want to go to it's gonna be the housewares department. So if you guys have ever seen my channel or you've been in any of my lives, you know that me and my wife made, uh, I think it was like eight grand in just, oh, look at that, it's a dog shot collar. Uh, we made eight grand in vacuums last year. Regular old used vacuum. So let's go and check out the houseware department that's over there and see if we can find any more vacuums, irons, stuff that you've got lying around the house. There's something over there. Let's go around and see that. I'm sorry, man. Here we go. So I've never heard of Severin, but at 50 bucks, that normally means Goodwill has looked it up and it's worth some serious money. So I'm not dropping $50 on a vacuum. But I did one time an Avalair, Kirby Avalair 2, and I ended up selling it for like, things like 350 bucks. So well worth it if you can find one of those. Not so much that one. Another place I encourage you to check is along the back. Um, if you've got an expensive boutique, boutique, how do you pronounce that? Goodwill, they always miss the really fancy lamps. So this is an Oriental lamp. My wife and I sold one of these that was really small for a little bit of money. Let's pull this one down and see how much it's worth. Look at that, 15 bucks. That is a good, good lamp. Um, and it's really nice. I mean, the night pattern, pretty big. We'll probably Google Lens that one to see what it is and see if we can find it online. Let's grab it. And then a good topic, always check to see if you see the mate lying around somewhere because if you've got two of them, they sell better in bundles. Whoa, what do we got here? Is that for you? $25, huh? It's got to work. We'll look them up. Go find. So we got more lamps. And again, look at these. See this? This is that kind that I was just talking about. 
I don't necessarily know if that's a special one or not, but you know who can tell us? First off, let's look at this. See that? That's a new plug, so it's probably not vintage. We'll leave that one alone. Ooh, there we go. This is a nice vintage banker's lamp. Is a light bulb in it? It is. If this works, this this is a sweet one. I might keep this one for myself. Let's go ahead and put him inside. Computer standard containment system. What is this? Computer rise underground dock fence. $24.99? It looks really old. So this might be the same person who dropped off the dog collar. Maybe it was like a um, maybe like a kennel or something. Either way, we'll look it up. Now check this out. I just saw this, and this is a brand you should get to know. If you've got this brand in your house, especially the Warring Pro brand, Professional Pro, um, that's pretty good. They got this one marked at 70, which means it's probably new, and it is. So if we can make 150 on that, I'll probably buy that. We'll leave it there because, no, we're not going to leave that. What am I talking about? Okay, got that ready. Let's keep rolling. Vitamin bar. This guy was here the other day. Now, the one thing I love about um, Goodwill, $9.99. I don't know how much it's worth, but they drop their prices every week when things don't sell because ultimately they want things to move. So, oh, baby Brezza. This is a good, oh, it's the sterilizer. So if you can find the baby Brezzas, or if you have any of these ladies, um, the ones that are like mixers, those are really, really good. And this thing is heavy. Gonna... Okay. I am pretty much full on my cart here, guys. So let's go ahead and do a quick look up to see how much money we've got. We've only been in the store for less than seven minutes. Check this out real quick. This is a CB700 drum stand. So I found one of these in the um, past that was really old. This one might just be really moldy, but uh, the one I found was worth 70 bucks and I ended up selling it on eBay. So we'll throw that in there and check that. Let's keep moving. And then you always got the fun stuff like this. I really like this stuff when I'm sitting down reading my book. I want my foot rubbed, I can do that. RCA, all kind of, all kind of things. I think I pretty much got it. So we pull what we need out of the houseware section. Let's go ahead and run to the other side where we can find the toys. Because that is another area that we use to make um, all that money. And too, if you guys are wondering about the stats and the receipts, click on the link in my TikTok profile. It will take you to a list that shows you all the stuff that we actually sold, over 700 items. And this is all household stuff that you probably own. And you can see how much we sold it for, what our dues were, shipping, all of that stuff. So it's really cool. It's all free. Check it out. Now, I personally don't know a ton about the toys, guys, but my kids do. And they're the ones that got me into looking at toys seriously. So what I do know is there's a few brands I always look for. Um, ideally, Play School, um, Octonauts, Legos, stuff like that. Let's see what they got. I'm really not seeing my likables, the ones I really like here. Just some random stuff. You see something? It's a baseball bat. Dang. Wow, what is this? What was somebody doing with this, man? All right, so the toys is really not hitting. Um, so with that in mind, we're gonna go over and check out the bikes as well. Sometimes you can get some bikes super cheap here and um, pretty much you can flip them. If you can get it for like 20, 25 bucks, you can sell them on eBay for 40, 50 dollars all day without blinking. All right, here we go. And I mean, look at that, 99, you can't do anything with that. But if you've got a bike, oh, here we go, a stride. Excuse us. This is a good one, but it's rusted. So these are balanced bikes, and dude, if you've got the ones that are like EX, they're really, really good. Really, really good, so don't throw these away. The small two, you could easy to ship. Oh, you found the hidden gems, huh? How much are those, you think? That one? Yeah. So first up is the Baby Brezza, and guess what? It's only selling for, uh, or it's up for $29.99, which is not necessarily good. Cause I didn't think I checked the price on it, but I know they probably got this at 15 bucks. Let's see. Oh, it may not have a price tag on it. That could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how the cash register ladies feel. Nope, 30 bucks, no way. Unless it's brand new and it's definitely not. That's going bad. All right, next, let's try the Warring Meat Grinder. Will we be able to flip it? 
And that one as well is going back on the shelf at $44 pre-owned. Ours is definitely pre-owned. Even though this is the Warring Pro, um, this guy's not going to sell for what we want out of him. So he's going back. How about the T-Speed 9009 gyroscope? He's got to work, obviously, but let's see if he's even worth $25. Then as you can see, didn't even come up. Brought us a bunch of t-shirts, so that one will definitely be going back. Then we've got this dog bark parlor. It's literally $10, and I know that my Google looks stuff up, so this is going back. It's probably junk. All right, let's go through the shoes and see if we've got anything in here worth our time. We've been on here for about 10 minutes. Let's see what we got. All right, so these foot joys, they're actually selling pretty decently on eBay. So we've got them ranging from 19, 20, 40, something like that. These are actually pretty decent shoes. We might consider these. And instead of going through all the prices, I'm just going to show you guys which ones we're going to get. One, two, three, here we go. And there you go. So this is actually what we're going to be getting. And let me just explain why. So these, all these items, now everything we have in the cart, I would probably put on eBay after looking it up because it had value. But these were priced so cheap that I could make two to three times my money if I listed them on eBay. And they are selling every single month on eBay's platform. So that means we're looking at these shoes particularly, selling for about 30 bucks. These also are selling for about 30 bucks. And then these are selling for 49 plus shipping. So uh, we're well over $50 profit. Been in the store for about 30 minutes. And obviously $30, $50 for every 30 minutes you're shopping is $100 an hour. And all you've got to do is make sure that you list your stuff, get it up on eBay and start today so uh, thank you for joining us today guys if you have any questions for me use the links in the bio to get questions over to me uh, if you want to learn how to list your items on ebay get them right to the top of the list the course is below that teaches you how to do that and uh, from my family to yours you guys we will see you on the flip side